with Syncode and this is an introductory session on algorithms. So when you hear the word algorithm, the very first question that comes to your mind is what is an algorithm? So we'll be dealing about algorithms in this uh, entire session. So this is an introductory session. So this is uh, meant for those who are called beginners. Uh, so I guess we can uh, start right away. Okay, so let's uh, begin the very first session on algorithms. So the first question that comes to your mind is what is an algorithm? So um, an, an algorithm, it is just a sequence of uh, unambiguous steps, you can say. So it just involves a sequence of instructions to solve a particular problem. So whatever be the problem, you have a procedure to solve that particular problem. And that procedure which involves a sequence of unambiguous steps that particular procedure is nothing but the algorithm. Algorithms play an important role in computer science. Uh, so we have to uh, have a good knowledge about algorithms. Algorithms in an informal way, it is just a recipe to solve a particular problem. But uh, when it comes to the formal definition, so we can define it as a sequence of computational steps that uh, take in some input and they provide some particular or they provide some output. So for every legitimate input, you have to have a perfect output or an expected output. So such steps which involve taking in of inputs and providing the expected outputs, that's, that is what is called the algorithm. So an algorithm, it just involves a sequence of uh, unambiguous steps, you can say. So it is just a sequence of unambiguous steps. Unambiguous is... Uh, the word which defines the algorithm so it is a sequence of unambiguous steps which are meant to solve a particular problem any problem in computer science it specifies the input output relation and the algorithm is the one which describes a specific computational procedure so as to achieve that particular input output relation which is uh, defined by the problem statement so whenever you read the problem statement you get an idea about what input and output relation is so problem would correspond to input output relation. So problem gives you uh, the IO relation, you can say. And algorithm is the one which provides a computational procedure so as to achieve this IO relation. So IO relation, you can obtain that particular IO relation which is defined by a pro problem statement by using the algorithm. So algorithm, it is uh, just a tool for solving a well-defined computational problem. All algorithms are made are meant to uh, take in some inputs, at least one, or in some cases zero inputs can also be uh, taken by the algorithm. So an input which an algorithm takes that corresponds to the instance of an algorithm. So you can define instance of an algorithm as uh, a particular input of an algorithm which provides a particular output so it is just an instance of the algorithm so a particular input providing a particular output that is called an instance of the algorithm okay to have a bit of a clear understanding on what an instance to a problem is we can say that an instance to any problem it just consists of an input so instance means an input so instance it consists of an input and this input must satisfy the various constraints which are imposed by the problem statement. So problem statement imposes certain conditions or constraints on uh, say how the input should be and the range in which the input must lie and many other constraints. So problem statement imposes certain constraints and input to an instance that is instance it should consist of the input which satisfies all those constraints which were imposed by the problem statement. So that is what instance to an algorithm is. Now let's talk about two type of uh, basic, two basic type of algorithms. So basically we have uh, two types of algorithms. One is called the correct algorithm and the other is called the incorrect algorithm. So a correct algorithm is one which for all possible inputs in the range which is specified by the algorithm, uh, it provides the expected output for all the inputs in the range. So while designing an algorithm, it is necessary to specify the range. So whatever range we have specified, 
an algorithm should take in the inputs from that range and should provide an expected output. If it does so, then such an algorithm is known as the correct algorithm. Otherwise, it is called an incorrect algorithm. So, if the inputs lie in this range and even if uh, one input doesn't give the expected result, that is uh, the output, then it is considered to be an incorrect algorithm. So, those were the two types of algorithms. And we can say that only the correct algorithms uh, can solve various computational problems. If an algorithm is incorrect, then it becomes useless and uh, we cannot solve the computational problems for all the possible inputs which are specified in the range. So, I guess this is it for the introductory session. In the next video, we are going to be uh, dealing about the procedure in which an algorithm uh, must be uh, applied so as to solve a particular problem. We will uh, have a look at the various steps which are involved in designing the algorithm, uh, how we design an algorithm, what are the various steps to be followed. So that is uh, coming up in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching.